today I'm going to be doing a first impression sort of thing. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know I used to do first impression Fridays, and I still kind of want to do them, and I want to kind of get your guys' opinion. I'm just not done anything like that because how do you guys feel about me reviewing products that you can't readily get your hands on like sometimes if I try Japanese drugstore makeup it's similar but it's not the same thing you might not be able to get a ha get your hands on it but would you still be interested in seeing it cuz I don't know I've like it's really hard for me I can't order like the newer drugstore products online I can order from Target and have it sent here, but it's not the new stuff, so it's not fun. So I'm kind of like, oh, I really want to get back into it and try some new stuff. So I went to the drugstore, kind of, of Japan. I went to this place called Loft, which is like, um, I don't know, kind of like a drugstore, but the makeup is super expensive regardless. It's not drugstore prices. So I need to know if you guys like really want to see this because I'll do them and I'm excited for them. So give this video a thumbs up if you kind of want to see it. So my like premise behind this is going to be try it out Tuesdays. So I'm going to post them on Tuesdays and I'm going to try out some fun products. So whether it's makeup, whether it's like a beauty trend that Japan's doing right now, they have some crazy things that I think would be kind of fun. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below and what kind of the direction you guys want me to go with this. But I'm just going to try it out and see what you guys think about it. Um, and we'll play it from there. I think it'll still be fun regardless. And I mean, I know I watch beauty gurus from all over the world and the products are different. And yeah, if I really love it, I'll just go order it or whatnot. But I don't know. We're going to try it, see how it goes. So anyways, I'm also trying a new thing I'm filming with natural lighting, which I've never done on my channel before, um, with this camera. So, and in this place. So we're going to go, we'll see how it works, but yeah. Um, so today I'm going to start up with a makeup product and um, I'm going to be doing like a full haul of everything that I picked up at Loft, so you guys will see it soon. Um, I'm going to post this video first, but uh, yeah, let's get into it you guys. So this is Cushion Makeup and Cushion Makeup came from Korea I believe first, but it's really big over here in Japan and it's different than the one in America because I don't know if Maybelline has one in America yet, but this is the... Maybelline, there's, the names are like insanely long, Pure BB Mineral Cushion BB Fresh. And it's really hard for me to find foundations at the drugstore. Loft was the first one that I could actually find because they're all super light. They come with two skin tones and it's one and it's two and it's like, girl, I am not that. Especially since I've been like tan from all of my vacations, like I can't, it just doesn't work out for me. And they're also very luminous because Japanese skin is like beautiful and I have like, not beautiful skin, so, you know. Anyways, but this is the makeup that I'm going to be trying today, and it is a cushion foundation. It's in the color 2, 02, two. Um, and it's got SPF 29, PA++. They love them, some SPF, PS, PA++. PA++. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like, and I think, um... I don't know what this is saying. I think it's saying that this is the original price and this is what it was. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but regardless, this is like 20 bucks and this is like, it's around $20 for this. So yeah, a little less than $20. So let's dig into it. I'm really excited. Um, like I said, they have a couple of cushion products, but I don't know if America has come out with the Maybelline one just yet, but this is a BB cushion. So yeah. Super excited. So again, this is what the packaging looks like when it's just um, out of the box. BB cushion, it's very plain um, on the inside. I actually never used a cushion foundation, so I'm super, super excited. Oh wow, okay, so this is what the packaging looks like inside. It looks like it has like a film over the mirror. I wanna rip it off. I hate film on like anything. So, oh that's kind of cool. Do they do that in America? I don't remember. Ooh, it's so pretty now. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so yeah, I got the color too because there was only two colors and I think this was like decent But if it's too light, I'm forewarning you. So it comes with this little lift up that you can put the sponge on top of it and I'm actually gonna use the sponge because I want to try it out and then it comes with this Oops, dropped the sponge. That's sanitary <laughs> Comes with this little thing that I'm guessing that you oh, yeah, you lift it up It's like a little sticker and in there's all the spongy goodness. I want to smell it. I don't know why It smells like foundation and Kind of like sunscreen. So that's what the product looks like inside. Um, ooh, it's very, ooh, I don't 
know if that's gonna be the right color for me. Just a little bit dipping it in was like really potent. Okay, yeah, that's probably a bit too light for me. But I feel like for some reason it didn't look that light when I like rubbed it on my hand. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll give it a go. We're gonna give it a go. So we're just gonna put it on the face. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use this little puff finger majigger and I don't know, do you put your fingers in it? <laughs> I feel like I've never used one of these before and I'm just gonna dab it in. I'm so excited. Mm. Do you, are you supposed to like rub it in? Pat it in? Oh, it's so light. It might work though. I think I'm just gonna like pat it in. So I'm, my expectations with this foundation is that it's not gonna be super full coverage because obviously it's a BB um, product and it doesn't look terrible when it's like blended on my face. Um, it's still a little light, but I feel like I could get away with it. So, okay, I really like it. Um, I actually don't mind the sponge. I feel like we'd never use these and I don't hate it. Um, all right, I feel like I'm saying um, way too much. Let's see if it covers this massive red zit I have on my forehead. It actually did. Okay, so I'm just kind of like patting it in because I feel like that'll give me the mo most coverage than just like smearing it on. All right, so I did half of my face and I actually think the color is not terrible. It's not the best, but I feel like with some bronzer and whatnot, it would be fine. Oh, okay, so for a finish overall, let's look and see. Okay, I do kind of see it sitting on the skin. It gives, it, the finish is like skin, so it's very natural in terms of like, it's not dewy, it's not um, like matte, it's also not um, like luminescent. It's actually quite pretty. Um, yeah, I can definitely see it on my skin, but not in a, not in a, like an obnoxious, <laughs> I've had way worse before, um, but I feel like it's quite nice. Um, I'm excited to see how long it would last because I feel like BB products and stuff like that are not like super long lasting. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the other side of my face. But as for coverage, <clears throat> I feel like it has really nice coverage. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this sponge. I feel like it's just awkward. But I feel like this is like a super quick, like easy makeup. Like I could do this like anywhere, like really, really quickly. I could just like press it into my skin. And I feel as though, um, yeah, it just looks really nice. I actually really like this. I feel as though I don't even need to set it with a powder. It seems to just like dry to a powder foundation and I was wondering, or like a powder look, I was wondering if it was gonna be like that because it is the mineral line and I used to have a mineral powder from this line. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. It didn't cover up too much, but it definitely gave me, and then you just put the sponge back in there like that. It definitely gave me just like a blurred sort of effect to my face and it actually is really natural looking. I think that if you had dry skin, this would actually cling to dry patches. Like I feel as though if I, yeah, because I have oily skin, I'm interested to see how it will hold up. But as in terms of like, you know, how it's sitting on my skin, I feel as though it wouldn't be great for dry skin because I feel like it would cling to the patches. But overall, I really like it. I'm actually really impressed and I think the coloring is really good for my skin. Um, it blended really well and I think it looks really, really natural on my skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation, which is good. It's definitely not full coverage by any means, but I think that it would be like a nice day-to-day -day foundation if you're just throwing something on really quick. And an SPF of 30, PA++ is really good, so I feel like it's like a super easy foundation to just throw on. It took me like a couple minutes. Um, and I could do it even quicker if I wanted. And then I would just obviously, let's see if I can build it a little bit more on my blemish that's wanting to peek through. Um, I think this is actually real. I'm like really impressed, you guys. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so it's not really that buildable, which I thought it would be buildable because of the fact that um, it dries to like a powdery foundation or a powdery finish. Yeah, you can't really build it, you can still see it. So you definitely need to conceal anything with like a concealer. But that's not a deal breaker for me because, yeah, I don't mind. Um, so yeah, I really overall love this product. I'm really excited to see the wear power on this. Um, and kind of how I'm gonna do it, you guys, is I'm not gonna do check-ins and check-outs because I have a, a full-time job, so it's not something that I can kind of like take you through my day and like check up on it and whatnot. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really excited if this comes out to the states. Um, yeah, I would recommend it. I guess I was just a little thrown off by the cushion foundation because I was like. Is it going to be good for oily skin? Because I heard it's not. I heard it's a very luminous foundation. But this one, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I like it. So, yeah, guys, let me know if you want me to continue doing these sort of videos or if you have any, like, recommendations for these sort of videos. I just am excited to get back into everything and show you guys some fun products that Japan has to offer. And, uh, yeah, and then let me know. There's some crazy beauty products that I could try out for you guys. If you want to see that, let me know. Leave any requests down below. And I will talk to you all in my next video.